Hey folks, QuickTime Gamer 90 is here. This time, I'm gonna show you a short video guide on how to add more glitter to your Smite experience by changing some settings. What I mean by that is, you'll get motion blur, bloom, lens flare, post processing, temporal AA, multi sample anti aliasing, and more on DirectX 9 and 11 settings. I personally prefer to use DirectX 9 settings due to bugs found in the DirectX 11 version at the moment. And overall, it's much less taxing on your video card. You're gonna get way more FPS in DirectX 9 than in 11. By FPS, I mean frames per second. Now, motion blur is pretty much a smear that emphasizes quick movement and happens during camera swings either left or right. It's similar to when you're spinning around in place. Bloom is usually referred to as a glow and increases the light from borders and bright areas to contribute to the illusion of extremely bright light. Lens flare is the light scattered in lens systems through internal reflections and scattered from materials in the lens. Post-processing helps with high dynamic range rendering or HDR. Bloom, motion blur, cell shading, depth of field and way many more others. Anti-aliasing pretty much improves your overall image quality. As you've already seen in these small videos, the effect on the animation is really nice, they all look much better and the motion blur gives a nice speedy feel to the combat. Motion blur also works with leaps and dashes, which adds a nice touch to quite a few attacks. These effects will be viewed much better in large teamfights where you can see how shiny every attack becomes and I honestly think that these settings should be added to the games menu and toggled on from there. Use whichever setting combination you want to make the game look the way you want it to look. Every setting can be altered from the battle engine. Let's start this quick tour with how to open Battle Engine. First off, go to My Computer, Documents, then into My Games, click on Smite, then go to Battle Game and click on Config. Make a copy of the file Battle Engine you find there and store it somewhere safe. Now open Battle Engine from the config file and use the search function. That's Control plus F, okay? So it's, you click with your finger on Control, you hold it there and then press F. Write blur in uh, the type box that appears and press next twice. It will direct you to the system settings part of the config file. Simply change the values from false to true on the following motion blur, bloom, lens flares, B allow post process MLAA, max multi samples change from 1 to 4, B allow D3 D9 MSAA. This will pretty much make your smite run on DirectX 9 and it will enable multi-sample anti-aliasing for it, okay? And then right under it there's B allow temporal A. That's pretty much for temporal anti-aliasing. It's really nice. That's pretty much it. It's simple as that. Have fun and cheers. See you in smite. Later alligators. Yeah. <laughs>